Hey there, it's Sandy, and I'm about to turn this crazy piece of cardboard into maybe the greatest garage sale sign ever. I've seen some epic garage sale signs before. They may not be fancy artistically, but they would say things about the kinds of stuff they were getting rid of, or it would be like a, a husband describing the wife's stuff in the garage sale or vice versa. And they're very funny and silly and all that, but this is not that kind of a sign because my quote unquote garage sale was not going to be like any other garage sale. It was going to be in front of my garage in my driveway, but it was going to be selling my art because last year I did a big renovation and at my final normal garage sale, at least I'm going to call it my final normal garage sale last year, I sold the last of the junk stuff and everything else just went away. I took it to Goodwill, etc., to get rid of everything because I was in a mode to clean out everything. And I have been delightfully surprised that I have been able to stay away from collecting more stuff for yet another garage sale in the last year. I literally did not have stuff sitting around to get rid of. That's why I decided to make it an art sale instead. I had several motivations in this. One was to, of course, make a little bit of money because we all need that, don't we? Have some big bills in June that always hit. And uh, it's been a challenging time for an artist online, etc. As you may know, lots of artists are going under. I am trying not to do that. So I thought an art sale might help. And I also wanted the chance to tell my no neighbors a little more about what I do. A bunch of them know that I'm an artist. They don't really know what kind of art I make. They don't know that I teach. Or at least if I've told them any of that, they haven't grasped it. It's hard to just kind of picture that in your own mind when you're not an artist. So I wanted to draw them into my driveway so I could talk with them about what I do and show them my work. And if they wanted to buy some, that'd be awesome. And I knew I had some local buyers who were gonna swing on by. So that was nice to get to see some people. But in general, I just wanted to get my art out in the driveway and I wanted to have a sign out there that said what I was doing. So this old piece of cardboard that was from, I think a chewy box with my dog's food in it was a floppy piece of cardboard, but it had corrugation on one side, flat on the other. And I just kept thinking I should use this for something because it was really big. So that's how it made it into a side. And then I grabbed another piece of corrugated to make the for sale part. And I left the two sections of words separate so that I could use the art sign for something else if I felt like it. If you have any ideas what the heck to do with it, let me know. I don't know what I'll do. Maybe I'll hang it up in the garage. It doesn't really suit my studio necessarily, but maybe, I don't know. Give me your ideas. I would love to have some more ways that I could use my big art for uh, good. So this is what I did with the sign. I had two of these sawhorses that I inherited when my Toastmasters club closed. And they have sat in my driveway and they've worked for garage sales. So I put my sign out in the front. I did put a couple of art pieces out there, one really high price, one medium price and one low price. So people could see some idea of what they would get when they stepped into my driveway a little bit more. And that is what the display looks like. Then I had some tables out with a bunch of art and it was broken into baskets. Some baskets had like 50% off, some had less percent off, etc. And I did put out a sign that has tape over it right there with a coupon code for my neighbors, which I ended up disabling because no neighbors actually were interested in that. I really hope to get some of them interested in art classes, but that didn't happen. I did make a sign with a bunch of QR codes for different ways they could pay because I know people don't arrive with a lot of cash when they go to garage sales. I had a bag of lollies for the, the kids, free lollipops. I also had some of my Bible Journaling Made Simple books out because I bought a few cases of these. My church wanted to do big events and we assumed there was going to be a lot of interest and a lot of people buying books. There were not. <laughs> so I'm still trying to get rid of books. 
But I had snacks. I had a piece of artwork that has been in progress for months now. I only put in like small amounts of time on it, it seems. And I got to finish it at some point. But I did not have many people come and watch me work. That was a little surprise. Usually when people see an artist, they come and see what you're doing. A few people did, but most of it was people engaging with the big sign out front. And that was cool because I had spent that time late the night before. At least people loved that and they loved the pieces that I put out in front of it too, especially the giant pastel. But let me tell you about my favorite sales of the day. One of my neighbors runs an inclusion group taking disabled young people out for adventures and they were there for the garage sale. Two of them had $5 gripped tightly in their hands and one of them found a painting that was $125 and she looked at me and she said, is this enough? And I couldn't say yes to that. But then she was looking further through some of the paintings and she found one of Mickey Mouse and she said, oh, I love Mickey Mouse. And I told her that one is $5. And she just beamed from ear to ear and was so proud of buying that painting. And another person in the group put two and two together and realized if she found something that was also priced lower, maybe. And so she found something that I also gave her for $5. So I was super excited. I remember buying my first artwork, like real art, not a print, and how proud I was. And I hope they went home with that feeling because that makes everything worthwhile. If any young person is inspired, I'm good with that. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.